On today's foodie adventure, we are on the hunt for the best local moco. For today's episode, we're featuring local mocos in an affordable option, a modern option, and a contemporary option. And the best thing about local moco is it's not only great for breakfast, you can eat it for lunch and dinner and a snack as well. Sounds good to me. What's going on, Foodie Ohana, and welcome back to the channel. We are Amanda and Felix Eats. And for our first stop on this best local moco conquest is, of course, Lily Hill Bakery. They are known for their cocoa puffs, their butter rolls with jelly, and of course, their breakfast, also local moco. There is a huge line, you guys. Because we're doing a best of local moco video, we wanted to kind of tell you about what is a local moco, the history of it. So basically, local moco started in Hilo of Big Island, which is the biggest island in the Hawaiian Islands. We are on Oahu, which is a different island. But anyway, it started off as a really affordable way to fill your belly. And it has become one of the most iconic things to eat here in Hawaii. What is a local moco, you guys ask? Simply bowl of rice, hamburger patty, gravy, and over easy egg. And over the years, people have concocted many different variations of it, but today, we're sticking to the true, classic, original local moko. Our criteria for local moko is threefold. One, has to have nice, rich gravy. Two, 100% beef, fresh ground hamburger patties. And three, an over easy egg. I know some people might not like the runny yolk of the egg. You can always ask them to make the egg of your choice, but for us, we love our runny egg yolk, and that's the original way to do it. And guys, of course, because we are at Maliha Bakery, they are known for their butter rolls and their highlighter jelly. <laughs> we call it highlighter jelly. We have to eat this. We even got an extra order of it. Cheers. A must get every time you come to the bakery for sure. It's like a simple guilty pleasure. All right, so first impressions of the classic local local here in Lilyha Bakery. It is for sure classic. We have the egg, what ounce patty was this? 7.75 ounces. Pretty exact. <laughs> I wish they rounded up, make it eight. The egg looks really runny. I will say it's not as picturesque this time around when they made it. Yeah, but doesn't have you know, to be pretty. As long as the flavor is there. Let's dive into this gravy all over the way we like it. And also, guys, this is a classic diner local moco. Oh. Mm. oh man! Oh my god! Mm. I need a little moment. You can definitely taste the char of that patty. The gravy is kind of on the light side, in my opinion. It looks like a dark and rich gravy, but it is on the lighter side. That burger patty makes up for it. Oh my goodness. I love the ambiance of this place as well, because you can actually see them cooking everything on the griddle. Highly, highly recommend visiting the original Liliha Bakery location off of Liliha and Kuakini. You won't regret it. But also, you got to go to the original. It's the best. Full on old school diner experience. Get your pastries later if you want. The Lihel Bakery, local moco, is a local's choice. If you ask any local here, they'll probably steer you to Lily Hill Bakery's local moco. I love that they keep everything classic, old school here. These are the plates I remember growing up eating off of. They still have the same charbroiled grill that they grill the burger patties off of. I think the good thing about this is if you get the local moco here, you'll know the standard of a local moco. This kind of local moco is the one that you can base all of your local moco off of. First off, I'd say it's a success. Local's choice, Lily Hill Bakery, original location. What does a classic local moco here at Lily Hill Bakery send you back? $15.50. And guys, if you want to see the full video, we did do a full video here. So check it out. I'll have a link here in the cards and down below as well. And this next local moco spot we're taking you guys is one of my personal favorites. Stick around. We are here at the next location, one of my personal favorites, the modern take on the Locomoco, here at Hamada General Store. 
So this next spot, guys, that we are at here is called Hamada General Store. It is located in Kaka'ako. We did do a video here a while ago. It was when we were still in lockdown, so it's gonna be a little bit different now. We did do a TikTok about this. It went a little bit viral. I don't know if you guys found us through that TikTok. Prior to this, we actually got their ribeye local moko, which was the reason why we love Hamada General Store. But now we're gonna try the original. Here at Hamada General Store, they do offer daily specials, but the local moko is a staple mainstay on the menu. So be sure to come by for lunch because they're only open from nine to two, I believe. So starting off as a local convenience store for the neighborhood of Kaka'ako in 1958, they closed and reopened as a food establishment. So newer kid on the block, but modern take on the local moko nonetheless. I will say this is very aesthetic, over easy, nothing broken. The gravy is so dark, I can hardly wait. And of course, it came with a side of mac salad. That's a winner for me. Differences from the liha is that the liha did not have the mac salad. Very, very welcomed addition to our local moko. Once again, this is gonna be a more modern take, modern day local moko. And this is also a plate lunch local moko, which was a little different from earlier. Here we go, cheers. Mm. I remember why this is my favorite now. That had no meat. <laughs> is that just a mound of rice you had? An egg? Rice and egg. The gravy is so rich. Dark, flavorful. Home style gravy. Stick to your ribs gravy. Burger, even though it's not char broiled, I still taste a little bit of that griddle top goodness, crispiness on the edges. That's a huge patty. It's thick. Not sure how many ounces is the patty, but trust me, it'll fill you up. For me, the star here is the gravy. Gravy all over, they didn't even have to ask. And I love that the, there's gravy on the rice. A lot of places, they'll just ladle the gravy on top of everything. But underneath the patty, the patty acts like an umbrella and it shields the beautiful rice from the gravy. So I like that there's gravy on the rice already. I will say, if you guys aren't big fans of hamburger, but you want to try a local moko, here they have a ribeye local moko, which is also very delicious. It's actually our favorite thing to get here. If you're not a burger patty fan, try that. For me, the gravy, 100% delicious. The patty though, is a little on the tough side. I will say I love the addition of the potato mac salad. It adds a nice cool creaminess in contrast to the rich dark beef gravy. It's gonna set you back $17. Oh man, it's gonna be a tough choice to make at the end. Which one is your favorite so far? I'm not giving away my secrets. If I'm in the mindset of the Bonds, she doesn't like gravy. So for her, I feel like this wouldn't rank very high because of the amount of gravy. But because we're gravy lovers, we like it. Next spot we are at today, guys. It probably looks very familiar, but we are trying a very affordable drive-in local moko option here at Rainbows. This is a childhood favorite, so we're gonna get us a classic local moko. All right, thank you. So we got the local moko plate here at Rainbows. They also have a local moko bowl. So the plate is a bigger size portion and it comes with mac salad, so why not? Growing up, I would always get the bowl, so that's very nostalgic to me. So the plate comes with two patties, two eggs of your choice, and mac salad. And presentation-wise, it's very pretty. It comes in a box. If you get it to go, if you say for here, it's just gonna be on a plate. But very iconic nonetheless in the takeout box such as this one, close to Waikiki Beach. So after a long day of surfing or dipping in the water, we get a loco moco. So it looks like here they don't slather the gravy all over. I do know that you can ask for gravy all over. So pro tip if you like gravy all over. And also I forgot to mention that here at Rainbow, their loco moco is actually award winning. And they've been here at this original Kapukulu location since 19. 1961. It's pretty much what you would think of when you think of Lokomoko, I guess. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just a Lokomoko. Cheers. 
Hold on. To be honest, I haven't had Rainbow Drive in Loco Moco for a while. This hits more of my nostalgia feels. If you taste everything individually, the beef isn't super flavorful. It's very skinny. There's no char on it. It's just very local fast food. Like, if you're in the mood, something hearty, filling, and expensive from the Rainbows. And I will say, out of all the Loco Moco we're eating today, this is the most affordable Loco Moco that we've had. This is gonna set you back $11.75. So if you're looking for something simple, you're on the go, you're in the area, I mean, it does hit you in a nostalgic way though, I will say that. And keep in mind, all the locomocos today are the original versions, no alterations, no uh, substitutes. Just exactly what you would get if you ordered a locomoco. Keep that in mind. This next spot we are heading to right now is a more contemporary style loco moco. I guess you could call it a bougie loco moco. Of course, because we're trying to do a wide range of loco mocos, this is gonna be a bit more on the bougie side, as Felix says. So let's go to our fourth spot. So Fido Hana, the next spot we are at is called Scratch Kitchen. This is their second location. They're originally in downtown. Scratch Kitchen is located in the South Shore Market in the Ward Village area. They are known for their contemporary island fusions and breakfast goods. They have some pretty creative breakfast items, so let us know if you want us to come back and feature that. But for today, we're getting their signature scratch local moco. All right, guys, our local moco has arrived, and this is the prettiest of the bunch, the most contemporary. You can get it with either pork adobo, chili, or beef patty. We're keeping it OG today. OG meaning original, sticking with the beef. It's an eight ounce patty, right? Yes, eight ounce patty and... Over garlic rice. Which is different. Yeah, I was gonna save that for a surprise, but oh. I already spoiled it. Sorry. Anyway, it's gonna be over garlic rice. It's even topped with this fancy pickled onion ribbon looking thing, and there's even tomatoes and some kind of like oniony gravy in here as well. It is served over garlic rice, so that's gonna be different as well. And right off the bat, too, this patty smells way more fragrant. One drawback though I've come to realize is I don't think there's enough gravy, but we shall see. Cheers. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. The gravy has a nice sweetness from the onions. Very savory. I do wish there's more of it though. This is the best rice so far. The garlic adds so much to it. Mm. The patty is very nice and tender, thick patty, but it's not tough at all. It's very moist. I love the addition of the pickled onions and tomatoes. It has a nice vibrant freshness to the meal in itself. I will say though, because I am a huge gravy girl, I'm missing the gravy on this. It I needs, wish there was more. Yes, yes, it needs more gravy. The patty does have a nice char on it as well. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty addictive. Really tasty. And that means a lot because this is already the fourth local moko of the day, and the fact that we still want to eat it must mean it's pretty pretty dang good and you know what's good too when a man doesn't want to put some on her sharing plate she's going straight for it but i feel like this is cheating a little bit because the rice is a garlic rice what do you think mm. Yeah, that's true. It's a little bit of a handicap, makes it more flavorful. I did notice aside from the lack of excess gravy that we crave, the yolk isn't as runny. I think the eggs are a little overcooked, more like an over medium. And once again, it is the more pricier option compared to the other places we visited. This one's gonna set you back $20. You think this is gonna be your top pick for the best local moco? You gotta wait to find out. Johanna, it is verdict time. So before we get into it, we went to a place called Lemon Supply. This is a blended yuzu lemonade. And mine is a basil lemon. And also this is a sister company of Scratch Kitchen where we just had the bougie local moco. Cheers. Ooh, mm. This is nice. Not too sweet, a good amount of tartness. Yeah, it's not like a like a ooh squint kind of tartness, mm -hmm. but very light and refreshing. Try this. Mm. Yours is more herby because of the mint. Yeah, but. I like that. Anyway, 
for the main reason why you folks are here. Which was your favorite out of the four today, Amanda? Is it still your nostalgic childhood choice or is it one of the others? Quick recap. We went to Liliha, Hamada, Rainbows, and Scratch. Today, I feel like my favorite local moko was the Liha Bakery. Really? Yes. And why is that? Because you get all the vibe. The diner vibe, you get the nostalgic vibe. The food was honestly delicious. The patty was cooked to perfection. Nice char, great amount of gravy. I will say presentation with the egg kind of falling off was not the best, but it hit all the marks for me. Every criteria was hit. I feel like the Liha had a very evenly balanced on every mark, the three criterias that we had. Gravy, patty, and egg. Oh man, I, I was going back and forth between two choices. I want to say, this is, this is harder than I thought. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be cliche and everything. I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Lily Hill Bakery. It was that char broiled flavor from the open flame grill cannot be matched. It was just perfection. The crispy bits, juicy, beefy. One of the things about Loco Moco is that it's messy. It's delicious and it's filling. Hit everything that we wanted in a local moco. So, all right, Furiana, there you have it. Of the best local moco choices we curated today, Lily Hall Bakery takes the cake. If you guys have not had their local moco yet, do yourselves a favor, get down there. You can even get it to go if you don't wanna wait in that diner area that we did. Get it to go, get some butter roll, and be on the way and be on your way to happiness. To me, Hamada's, I like their ribeye loco moco a lot more. The patty to me was a little too thick. It was pretty dense. It, it was on the denser a side. A little dense. By no means like a hockey puck dense, but it was just more dense In than the other. Yes. Yeah. Rainbows, it's honestly like a fast food loco moco to me. Like when you think of loco moco for me, I always think of rainbow, so that's why for me, it had to be part of this list, even though it might not be the best of the best. It's obligatory. not really fair. Yeah, it's, it's obligatory, but it's kind of not fair because it's like you're pitting up against like a McDonald's hamburger against like Teddy's or, you know, a more restaurant style burger. It's not gonna compare. And for scratch for me, I felt like the burger was really good. The rice, the eggs, the gravy, everything was really good. The reason why scratch came in second is because of the price point. You get the same size patty as the Liha Bakery, 7.75 but I think Scratch was eight ounces, so 0.25 ounces more at Scratch. The price was about $5 more. Granted, the rice and the gravy was better quality. To me, it wasn't so much better that it warranted the extra $5 in my opinion. For me, when I think of Loco Moco, it's something convenient, something filling, something delicious, just accessible, easy to get. And Scratch, although, like Amanda mentioned, it was delicious, innovative in what they incorporated for their dish, it is a sit and dine. I mean, it, I, I can't imagine coming here asking for takeout. It would, it would feel I feel a little, like you could get You could, out, but, but it would feel a little out of place. Like going to a fine dining asking for a takeout. Yeah, you know, that's probably. how it feels. Versus Lady Hall is very inconspicuous. You just go there, get some butter rolls too, have yourself a jolly time. Why not? That's what I think of when I think of Loco Moco. I know that this Loco Moco video, we've only featured four spots. There's probably hundreds of local mocos here on this island alone. So please let us know any of the spots that you would recommend for your favorite local moco. Maybe we'll do a part two. There's a lot of local food out there. So let us know if you like this series. We're gonna find the best of the best. But as always, we do leave the links to all the places that we visit down in the description. So make sure you check it out. All right, Foodie Ohana. This is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Best Local Moco. Let us know if you guys enjoy the series. By hitting that like button, that way we know. And if you have not already, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, join our foodie Ohana, and we will see you guys on the next foodie adventure. Till the next foodie adventure, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye guys. Welcome back to the channel. But you're talking about. If there was a job description of food surgical or like food surgeon, I'd definitely apply for that because that was a beautiful decision. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. So, you know what? I didn't care that the egg was all over the place. Chicken hat. What? <laughs> there was no chicken, though. <laughs> I was gonna say it hatched early, but that was a weird joke. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>
And for our first stop on this best of local. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I know, I was. Hair in my face. <laughs> All right, let's see what our next location for Loco Moco has for us. You think this is gonna be your top pick for the best Loco Moco? You gotta wait to find out. You can just tell me, you weirdo. I see you guys sneaking up on us, listening to our conversations. I don't know, man, but. And also, I forgot to mention that Loco and I. There you have it, Furiohana, of the best local most. So why did the other ones not make your top pick, Amanda? Where did we go again? <laughs> <laughs> what?